Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just a quick one today. I'm not feeling very well, as you can tell by my voice. It's a bit, uh, bit croaky. But um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I got this NYX liquid illuminator. I just drop about, say, three drops on it and paint my face with it, like so. Just make sure you brush it outwards and then do your nose and your forehead. And then I got this Nude Air foundation. Yep, just squirt a decent amount on it and just paint your face like so. That's the way, yep. As you can tell, I got something wrong with my nose. And then I'm looking a bit serious. Now I got the Smashbox contour. I just like to um, just feather it downwards and give that, uh, try and give myself the native Australian face paint look, like so. As you can tell, I got a bird's foot on my forehead. And then I like to get a bit fancy and just do the nose and the jaw bones, cheekbones, and do a couple of lines on the forehead as well. Try and look a bit fancy. I just can't seem to get that out of my nose. And then I like to just, just try and blend it in with this uh, paintbrush that I have. Like so. As you can see, it's slowly blending in and disappearing. And here we are back at the nose again, and I'll try and just blend that one in. Like so. I can't seem to get this out of my nose. It's, it's, it's annoying me. But anyway, then I just blend all of this in. As you can see. And there we go. Try and look a bit serious when you're doing it because it makes you feel better. There we go, slowly disappearing. Then you just do the jawline, try and blend it in because no one wants a white neck and a coloured face. There we go, just work it in. This way. Then I got this, uh, this Mac. Then I just like to put that around the eyes, try and give that a bit of a glossy look, I'm pretty sure it's a highlighter. Then I got this Betty Boot highlighter as well, try and shine that up a bit, take the attention away from the nose. Basically just do the spots where the suns would be shining. Now, I also got another another one by Mac. Try and just blend all these colours in together and just give it give it that natural look. There we go. I love this one. This one's from Mix. And as you can see, I'm using a, a smaller paintbrush for the for the tight bits. And then I like to use this 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 one here that I got. Just, just working it in like that. There we go. Get it all nice and shiny. It also takes the attention away from the bad, your bad features. Just fix that bit up in the nose there. That's right. And then I'm doing the corners of my eyes. And then I'm now I'm working my my eyebrows. Normally I like to do a uh, like a McDonald's logo or two Nike ticks, but today I'm going to be a little bit fancy and try and make them look natural. As you can see, I sort of go outwards towards the outside, and on the inside I go upwards. There we go, just try and get that shape a bit better. Yeah, that's right, that, that looks totes amaze balls at the moment. That's how I want it to be. As you can see, I'm going upwards towards the center, like I just said. And then I like feather it towards the outside. Just give it that more, more natural look. And I like to look a bit serious while I'm doing this, as, as you can tell. And 
and then now I've got a smaller paintbrush just for the detailed parts there we go just give it that more realistic look yep there we go oh, oh hold on I've got to dry for it there we go that's better now I'm doing a uh, like a cut and crease just try and get them sharp sharp edges there we go just, just be a bit careful when you do this I stabbed myself in the eye last week and it, it wasn't quite pleasant and now I just use the these eyelashes these are my favorite just slowly place it on like so you don't want to get any glue into your eyeball there we go just use some tweezers while you do that make it a bit easier and then now I use this Mac this Mac stick just along the bottom just give it a bit more detail so your eyes stand out because that's what you want your eyes to stand out and once again it takes attention away from the bad parts and now I like to do this with a like a darker color now I give it a bit of a black like a black um, yeah you know you know what I mean but anyway yep different paintbrush like so and then I use this this MAC lip liner this is my favorite lip liner of, of all my products nice and easy to use as you can see also it makes your lips look a bit fuller if you can't afford lip injections there we go like so I've got something in my nose again there we go it's gone and now the Kylie Jenner lipstick now name sells this because if it was anyone else's name I wouldn't have it everyone wants to be like Kylie but anyway yep just like so and then now I just use this setting spray just make sure it all sets and stays the same and there you go the finishing product nice little smile there now look at that Look at that job.